Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane. Solana plummets double digit amid another network halt. So Solana was briefly halted for more than four hours yesterday, triggering a massive sell-off of the network native SOL cryptocurrency. Now I've made a lot of videos on Solana, so naturally I have to talk about this because I'm a big advocate for Solana. I like Solana. I like what they're doing with their ecosystem. They're rapidly growing. But lately, they've faced a lot of criticism because their network continued to have network congestions and a lot of issues. Now, Solana is known for being able to transact a lot of money on their network at a very fast pace. So they're being used in this exact way. But it's looking like they cannot keep up with that demand. So this is what we should actually try to understand. Blockchain Toolkit Archimy launches Solana Developers Platform. Solana developers can now use Archimy the popular pick and shovel service that supplies tool to accelerate Web3 building. We're going to be having a look at that as well, because while Solana is having a difficult time, platforms like Archimy could help Solana continue to grow. And they're already growing at a rapid pace. 2021 was one of their biggest years, and I don't know if they'll be able to top that year in development anytime soon. We'll also do a price analysis, obviously, it went through a huge dip and that was great in the last 24 hours. And as you can see, a lot more people just started buying Solana. In fact, the money going into the market was 50 times more than usual. That brought up the 24 hours volume of trading to 1.8 billion. That was massive. The market cap is just around 13.9 billion, just a little bit under 14 billion. But right now, Solana is heavily undervalued. Let's not forget, this crypto was 258 US dollars. And this was at the beginning of November last year, less than a year later, and it's a fraction of that cost. So yes, Solana is heavily undervalued, but it's still within the top 10 of all crypto in the world, rank nine based on market cap. So let's get into the articles. Solana long-term bearish action on SOL wipes out tens of billions of dollars of investors' wealth over the past six months. The asset market capitalization in an all-time high of $77.99 billion on November the 6th, 2021. Yes, this was the period last year when Solana was doing the best. Now, this article also says the two primary reasons behind today's bearish price action revolve around the blockchain outage that has happened yesterday and the plummeting demand for Solana based on non-fungible tokens NFTs. So yesterday the blockchain battled through an outrage for more than four and a half hours. According to Solana status, it was the first outage in the past month with the previous outage occurring on May the 1st. So this was actually quite funny because it's almost coincidence. It's just one month later exactly. It first occurred on May the 1st, and now it occurs on June the 1st. How coincidental. Now, the blockchain has apparently struggled to provide 100% uptime, a measure of availability over the past three months. The network faced its worst outage in January 2022, crashing the network every day for seven days consecutively. And we've got a quote from Yanatoly Yakovenko, clear out all the bots, the co-founder of Solana after fixing the latest outage. Interest in Solana NFTs also plummet. Per data from Crypto Slams, the overall NFT sales on Solana dropped by 61.30% to 1.7 million. Now, the Bored Ape NFT Yacht Club, that collection on Solana showed decreased interest, with the 24 hours trading volume dropping by 43.4%, according to data from OpenSea. Trading volumes of other popular NFT collections on Solana, including Trippin, Ape Tribe, D Gods, and Fat Cats. Capital also dropped at least 40% over the same period of time. Bitcoin was almost down 4.8% in the last day and is trading around 29 grand. In another article, Bug brings down Solana blockchain for four hours. Basically, the same thing we were just talking about. But I think that first article sums it up quite perfectly. Obviously, for the last month, Solana, or for the majority of the last month, Solana was like uh, trading somewhere around $50. But the question is, will it continue to fall? Will it get anywhere close to $30? I hope it does because I really want to buy at least one Solana token. And that's not financial advice. That's just my opinion. But I personally think it can get back to $50 quite easily. Long term, throughout this year, we could easily see Solana get back to $250 
quite easily if there's another bull run. And I mean a huge bull run, like a market dominant bull run. With that in mind, Solana can get anywhere to $100, $200, $300, $400 or $500, and it wouldn't even surprise me. But short term, what we can target, in my opinion, is possibly around $60 to $70, possibly even $80 within the next month for Solana. And I'm being realistic. I'm being serious. People are going to start noticing that it's too undervalued. Despite the outage, it's still a very valuable network that is in high demand. People are going to notice that there is a potential to buy in this crypto because within the next month, it can easily get back to $80 or $90. It wasn't too long ago that it was above $90. It was $94 on the 5th of May. Don't let that surprise you. Now, another news, Archemy, best known for its Ethereum tool, now supported Solana development. Now, the Solana kit is being released today in gated beta with wide availability promised it soon. Archemy, a company that styles itself as Amazon Web Services for Web3, announced on Thursday that it's launching a suite of development tools for Solana, a move that could spur future growth on the upstart blockchain. This is great for Solana. This is great for Archemy as well. Founded in 2020 by two Stanford grads, Archemy made its name building tool that simplified common Web3 tasks like writing transaction and hosting nodes. So the company's core offering revolve around Ethereum, but in the last year, it's began tailoring its services for other blockchains such as Flow and Polygon, and now Solana as well. Its toolkit accelerates development for Solana ecosystem by making it faster and easier to build new application. The blockchain already hosts some Web3 hits, including NFT Marketplace, Magic Eden, and fitness app Steppen. And Steppen has been huge recently in the traded market. Potential, I'm not too sure of the long-term potential for Steppen, but the short-term expectations were high. So this is a huge thing for Solana, Archemy. Archemy, this will allow developers to build on the platform in a much easier way and faster way and publish directly to the Solana blockchain. This is incredible and I like to see this. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.